Yo, what is up? I'm Zach. Welcome back to my channel of Ruby Mythology. Today I bring you guys another Ruby reaction video. So yes, today I bring you guys another Ruby reaction video. Today we're going to watch and react the newest episode of Ruby Evermoro episode 8 title Cold Snap. And by the title, by the thumbnail, it's basically going to involve, well, Ilya. Not just her, but also her teammate, Oscar, Alice, and Penny. And before I continue on, link in the video will be down below. Just go to see the video for so Full screen, well, I my commentary, go support the official release. And before we get into this video, I think they were working almost done. Not fully done, but almost. Finished with episode 9. And after that, I want to take like a few breaks because of well, the holiday seasons, obviously. And of course, there are some other projects they want to do besides, I think, besides just Ruby or other than Ruby or something like that. I don't know. Only because, well, you guys seen the videos for yourself, like the drawing, photo motion, the animation, and um, the voice actors and the writing and the editing takes a lot of time when it comes to something like this. Especially the animation. The animation is not easy to get it done. It takes a lot of time and effort. But you guys will actually will see what I'm talking about. I don't think something was in my finger. Yeah. Finger not surprising. Give me, give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. I got it out of my finger. What the hell? But anyway. Um... No, I forgot what I was going to say. Shit. Oh, yeah, the animation does takes a lot of time and effort, and they want to take a break the holidays break or other project they want to do besides just Ruby or other project that is Evolve Ruby, which I honestly do not know. So, yeah, without out of the way, let's just go ahead and uh, dive into it. Okay, owned by Viz Media, and et cetera, et cetera. See right there? Is an AU, so people need to understand that. Considering Mr. Winchester took it upon himself to apprehend Roman Torchwick, wanted to abandon a fellow student and blame the rest of you during his debrief. I imagine he will be suspended for the remainder of the term. Oof. Oscar! You made it in the beacon! I guess I should introduce you guys to the rest of our team. This is Elia. I figured you might be here. Is Ilya at Beacon to keep tabs on me? Did you send her? Ilya isn't mine to send anymore. We're banned from anything except supervised patrols till summer. One of the newbies is missing. She's not a social creature, from what I can tell. Come on, Fickle Twins. Let's get to class and hope our wayward teammate shows up. Like I said from the description or disclaimer, this is an AU, a what if, and a fanfic. Not rewriting of, you know, not a rewrite or anything like that. Which is fucking annoying when people think of that. So a cold snap. Finally decided to show up, eh? Are you joining us for class or disappearing again? I'm here, aren't I? So our first class is survival studies. In the forest? Ho ho ho! You're going to be late if you don't hurry along. Follow me, team. I have an impeccable sense of direction. Survival studies, prepare to meet your maker. Let's 
do this. So we're focusing on the team. Just perfect, Just perfect Mr. Pine. Jesus! If only the rest of the class could show so much care. These plants could save your life out there one day, you know? You have an excellent eye for detail. Another character? Of course. I recognize your father's handiwork anywhere. Dale! <laughs> Dale! You to me if you know how to use stealth. Dale! Cool hair. Gotcha. And on his deathbed, King Malik requested a chronicling of his memoirs from none other than world renowned author Lewis Carroll. Actually, Professor, you got his name wrong. No offense, but he's my great 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 grandfather. It's Lewis Liddell. Correct! That was a deliberate and intentional falsehood to monitor who is paying attention. I'm glad to hear you're keeping up with the lectures, Miss Liddell. Damn! Okay, Oscar! Ah, I'm not with the glasses! Damn! And that's the match. Miss Gashley, you're panicking too much. You need to learn to get out of your head and focus entirely on the fight in front of you. Sorry, I got a little too eager. Are you hurt? Just my pride. The winner goes on. Aww. We have time for one more round. Mr. Pine, please select a member of your team to fight. Hmm. What about... Ilya? Aww. Damn. Yes! Ilya has not fought as often as the rest of the team. It would be a privilege to see her in action again. If I have to. Miss Amatola, please select an opponent. Her. Oh, I'm come on! I would be happy to oblige. But I must warn you, I am an upperclassman. Trust me. I know who you are. I feel like we've been here before. Only this time, everyone will be laughing at you. Ilya versus Wife. Hold up. Now, this is a match I never thought of. It's okay with the acrobatics. Okay. Give her 
some space rubes. Yang, Remy, we need to talk. Taking out a second year? Amazing job, Yulia. Your decision to distract her with banter was very inspired. Thanks. Kind of weird how the Schnee girl just folded, though, huh? I thought she was tougher than that. Guess all that money can't buy talent. This is the thanks I get? Suspend it. Suspend it. I caught one of the heads of the natural order, and I get kicked out till summer. Boom! You got four ears, but can't hear when someone's coming, asshole? Hey! Not cool, jerkwad! Leave them alone! I'll tell Professor Goodwitch. Oh, what? You smoke right, got something to say? Hey, idiot. What the hell did you do, Carden? I get a call in the middle of the damn night telling me to get to Beacon Academy ASAP because my little brother messed up. Ooh. What the hell did you do? Mission went bad, okay? It was out of my control. Oh, get a load of mister. I'm too good to go to Fire Academy over here. You're lucky they called my ass, because now you got an extra day before Aunt Caroline gets on yours. Get back to your door. We're leaving tomorrow. It was White Fang, okay? Those damn bodies keep getting under my feet and ruining everything. I didn't do nothing wrong. After that, he was gone. And I went back to searching for you. Uh, all these reference. Adam guy. Do you think he wants revenge for you leaving the White Fang? He warned me about next time, but it was just words. He was trying to make me feel guilty yeah. for leaving. And you said he didn't send Ilya. It doesn't sound like we can take his word for it. Adam might wear a mask, but it's easy to see through him. He's too impulsive to bite his tongue. He didn't send her. And Ilya... It sounds like you two go way back. Why didn't you tell us this before? My past isn't something I wanted to burden you with. No more than I already have. I don't <coughs> because I wanted to leave the past in the past. Make a leave difference by helping behind. people instead of hurting them. It was naive. Now that Ilya has targeted Weiss... I see that I can't keep it to myself. I don't think it's naive. Even if helping people was naive, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be anything else. <laughs> don't lose that, Ruby. We should tell Ozpin about this Ilya stuff. Yeah, no, please. If Ilya is discovered, she'll run and we'll lose our chance to help her. She knows I won't tell the school staff. If I do, I'll be revealing my past in the White Fang, too. What about Oscar? Penny, they should know. They could be in danger too. I think they'll be in more danger if they find out. If Ilya realizes they know her secret, she might turn on them. I don't like this. If we can't tell anyone, what can we actually do? Is that? I need to talk to her. Find out why she's here, what she wants. But it'll be hard to get her alone. Well, I have her think you two are alone? Exactly. We need to speak to Weiss. Then keep an eye out for an opportunity to confront Ilya about all of this. And hope she doesn't do anything rash in the meantime. by and let you push people around but not me it's time you got what you deserve what you do uh, i what are you doing here can't a girl bond with her teammates seriously though what is up with you why are you looming over cardinal's room like a gargoyle go back to the dorm this is none of your business why 
because I'm not a fawness? How do you know? Girl, <clears throat> you are not subtle. Gunning for a schnee. Hunting down a bigot. You're constantly disappearing for hours. You're top of our stealth class after one day. And those, uh, freckles that change color? Dead giveaway. Who have you told? Oh, relax. Who would I have told? Our bean sprout leader and little Miss Sunshine? Those sophomores we met days ago? Your secret is safe with me. Along with whatever you do with Carton. Besides, it's not like you were going to kill him. Oh, by the gods, slow your roll there, edgelord. You can't just do that. Damn, girl. Whoa, okay, Alan. That's not what I mean. Ugh, I can't believe I have to be the lucid one here. Look, here's the deal. Killing Carton is only going to make people feel sorry for him. My pitch? Prank him. Fuck it over the door. Shave his eyebrows. Replace his dust with confetti. Do something everyone will laugh at. That's how you give him a taste of his own medicine. Plus, it'd be great if you didn't royally screw our team over in the first week. Well, I've said my piece, so I'll get out of your hair. Even though you're super cagey, you're training to be a huntress, so I don't think you're a bad enough person to kill somebody. You don't know anything about me. I don't. But seeing as we're supposed to be partners, i kind of like to. Guess I'll see you back in the dorm. Or in the headlines tomorrow. Your choice. <laughs> Wow. <clears throat> Get a load of this. A dust mine collapsed this morning. Everyone inside was killed. Dude, this is what I'm talking about. So what? The it's drawing just animation. They can hire more. I feel worse about the dust. Ugh, that's what happens when you hire Faunus. They're too uncivilized to run anything properly. At least the SDC won't waste money on them anymore. <laughs> They're better off dead anyway. <laughs> will hear about this. Look at her face! She's a goddess! All this time you've been sneaking into our school? You animal! Call your father! Call him! Are you listening? What? What? Oh. Oh, shit. I usually don't do this. I usually don't pause for all my reaction. I. Wow. Wow. I. Then I'm. Mm.
stream the episode soundtrack. Oh! So they, okay, so they make their own uh, soundtracks for the Evermore. And I gotta look up the, the, uh, oh no. Vocal solo. So, oh, original song. But yo, I gotta give you props. Oh wow. Okay. I I gotta give you props on this. Oh, there's like bloopers or something. I think. I didn't know that. Wow. I. It focused on Ilya more than the other characters. With Weiss being the influence of Ilya's past. I gotta get close to Hannah. Oh, wow. I'm yelling so it'll reach the microphone. Here are some bloopers. Come on, Weiss. What was that? A hat. <laughs> I, hit the, I hit the microphone with the hat. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That sounded like an evil. <laughs> Weiss, we, we can come in. about to ring. Go to your goddamn class, Joe. Go to your goddamn you class. Go fuck to class. I'm sending Professor Goodwitch on you. Uh-oh. Weiss, we can come and come and dig it. It's in my head now. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I forfeit. How do you know? Gold, you are not subtle. Gunning for a sneeze. Hunting down a bigot. You're constantly disappointing for- Please tell me this is not like he heard the whole thing. There's no way. I, I There's no way he heard the whole conversation. Please tell me he did not hear the whole conversation. Because he was asleep, man. <laughs> Damn. But well, yeah, I, <clears throat> this episode, now, wow, I don't know what else I can say, that, um, um, this episode really hit me when the music play and Wise had to reflect it's not Ilya who has to reflect the past. It's also Weiss also reflected of the past and how this is different. Like, she blank and, and at first, she blames and never forgives Blake for abandoning her and leaving the White Fang and also be friends with the Ashni. Now that she despised the Ashni family and we never get to know why she despised the Schnee uh, family, etc. And now this one, it started to show more in depth to uh, I uh, Ilya's character. And just wow. Just wow. I, I don't know what I'm going to say. But the fight scene between Weiss and Ilya is pretty damn good. I will say that. And I gotta give props to the voice actors, including Alice, who 
your typical black girl to say, whoa, girl, slow your jet. <laughs> that, that type of thing. And, um, and I like how, uh, Alice, uh, Alice is, is not a, a fool like the rest that she knows that Ilya is a fawness, which is, again, like she said, it was a dead giveaway. So yeah, everyone, for those who are so dense, they cannot put the pieces together that no one, uh, can I put a piece together that that person is a faunist and they're dumb? But there's always going to be few people who put a piece together that, yeah, you're a faunist. So I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to keep it a secret. So I'm not going to say nothing. So I don't know what I can say about this episode. It's, again, this is a AU what if scenario of if this did play out. And yes, Connor did deserve what he fucking gets. You know, being expelled for the whole tire, you know, the whole tire year until summer, which he would not be in school for the whole summer, so that's an extra out of school. So it's pretty much for the best. But anyway, you guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And links to the original video will be down below the description while you guys know the drill. Again, I have links to my other channel. My social media will be down below the description as, as well. Again, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Ruby is love, Ruby is life. Keep moving forward, and I'll see you guys later.